This technique will discuss placement of a long-term catheter using a peel-away technique. Following supplies will be needed. Central lines are very useful for patients who will be in hospital multiple days, those requiring frequent blood sampling, infusion of hyperosmolar fluids, or those requiring measurement of central venous pressure. A peel-away sheath with a stylet is inserted into the vessel. The stylet is removed and the catheter is inserted through the peel-away sheath. The catheter will be inserted to a pre-measured level. Once it has reached that level, the peel-away sheath is snapped and gently peeled off the catheter. At the same time, the catheter is inserted more completely into the vessel. Once the catheter is completely in the vessel, it be sutured in place. The animal is clipped, surgically prepped, and drapes are placed. The drapes are being left off for visualization purposes. The clip should extend from the dorsal midline to lateral to the ventral midline and from the angle of the mandible to the thoracic inlet. When holding off the jugular vein, care should be taken to ensure that the index finger depresses directly into the thoracic inlet rather than retracting the skin caudally at the same time, which will flatten the vessel. The jugular vein runs from the angle of the mandible to the thoracic inlet in a straight line. This location is maintained no matter what position the animal's head is in. The catheter is pre-measured to an appropriate length, which is approximately the fourth intercostal space when using the jugular vein in order that central venous pressure measurement can be done. An imaginary line is drawn from the caudal aspect of the elbow with the limb in a neutral position up to a level that is in line with the venotomy site. The peel-away sheath with its stylet are inserted in through the skin and then into the vessel. The stylet is then removed and the catheter is inserted through the center of the peel-away sheath. Catheter is inserted to the pre-measured location. Once at that level, the peel-away sheath is snapped off the catheter and gently peeled away while the catheter is simultaneously inserted further into the vessel. Multi-lumen catheters come with two or three lumens. Each lumen is identified by its gauge and location. The advantage of multi-lumen catheters is that irritating or incompatible fluids can be administered simultaneously since the exit ports are at different sites on the catheter. A needleless injection cap is then inserted over the top of each hub to prevent blood leakage from the catheter and then the catheter is sutured in place. For additional security, a third suture can be placed around the distal suture groove and through the skin. Each lumen should then be flushed. The advantage of these needleless injection caps is that fluid cannot come in or out of the catheter until the central valve is depressed. Blood should be aspirated to ensure appropriate location of the catheter and then the catheter should be bandaged.